How's it downtown, Boise? I didn't want to saw a duck, and I knew the duck was lost, because ducks ain't supposed to be downtown. There's nothing for them there. So I went to a Subway sandwich shop. I said, let me have a bun. But she wouldn't sell me just the bun. She said I had to have something on it. She told me it's against regulations for Subway to sell just the bun. I guess the two halves ain't supposed to touch. <laughs> so I said, all right, we'll put some lettuce on, which they did. They said, that'll be $1.75. I said, it's for a duck. They said, all right, well, then it's free. See, I did not know that. Ducks eat for free at Subway. <laughs> and I know now I ordered a much larger sandwich. Let me have the steak fajita sub. But don't bother ringing it up. It's for a duck. There are six ducks out there, and they all want sun chips. I find that ducks' opinion of me is very much influenced over whether or not I have bread. A duck loves bread, but he does not have the capability to buy a loaf. That's the biggest joke on the duck ever. Like, if I worked at a convenience store and a duck came in and grabbed a loaf of bread with his beak and walked out, I would let him go. I would say, come back tomorrow, bring your friends. When I think of a duck's friends, I think of more ducks, right? But shit, he could have, like, a beaver in tow. Because if you're an animal, you want to have a beaver as a friend. Because they have some kick-ass houses. That shit is on the lake. Lakeside my ass, lake on. Now, if I was to give a duck bread, I'd give him Petridge Farm bread, because that shit's fancy. It's wrapped twice. So you open it, and it still ain't open. That's why I don't buy it. I don't need another step between me and toast. 